Praise Master Jesus, praise Master Jesus. Praise Messiah, praise Messiah. You are welcome to our Bible study Tuesday. Yeah, how is everyone doing? Is everyone doing well in the land of the living? May God continue to bless all of you. To God be all the glory for waking us up this morning. It is so good to wake up this morning in the land of the living. We give God the glory for His word. Chakalaba, Malu Kelebo Saladia, Ibobo Sindere, Ijanum, Mazula, Kara, Lidi, Kara, Lidi, Kalabo Baba. Thank you, Father. Glory and honor be to your name. For you are worthy to be praised. Equally, ye can. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless your holy name for you are worthy to be praised. You are powerful. You are king of kings and lord of lords. The battle fighter. The only one that wake us up this morning. The one that provide for us. Great provider. I am that I am. The only one of Israel. The one that put roof on our head. Food on our table. Clothes on our back. Shoe on our feet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jehovah Shammah. Thank you, Jehovah Shalom. Thank you. We bless your name. Forgive our trespasses. However, we have gone contrary to your word. God have mercy. Forgive everything we have done wrong against your will. We have come short of glory. We sin every minute, every second. So just have mercy. According to your loving kindness, according to your feeling, feeling love, have mercy. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. And thank you for this Bible study. Whatever distraction, take it away. Cover this Bible study, even myself on top of my head, sole of my feet. Heal me, Father, whatever that he, he need healing in my life. Heal every word online, whatever that need healing in the life. Father, have I that way in Jesus' matchless name, I pray. Amen. It is worthy. God is worthy to be praised. I am that I am. His word is worthy. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Ashada. His name is King of Kings. His name is Lord of Lords. <laughs> I feel like singing, but I gotta do what God called me to do. Amen. And I always start with my with one of the songs in my album every Tuesday. Let us go. <laughs> Pues 
na banda nesse e basta e Jesus lhe e deu uma massa disso agora é nada ei bambe e e e e e e e e azo agora é nada nem me engano nem de que mo é bugu do é não nisso e bem é não naga a chona me quer cair teli é é que é mo nem de que mo é bugu do é não nisso se bem é não naga a chona me quer cair teli é se basta aí Jesus lhe que me bem o é master Jesus azo agora é nada se é bugu do é não nisso e bewe no naga, a chone mke ka iteriwe Alleluia Because down long time ago, Hallelujah. And then overcome by the Lamb, the blood of the Lamb, Hallelujah. And by the word of your testimony, the word of your testimony. God, your grace is sufficient for me, God. And the God of peace will crush Satan down. That's what it is on Zachariah 32. The Lord rebuke you in his name. And right now, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. By the call of this name, every knee shall bow. Set you in the Lift you down, O God. Come to the Lord. All things are possible. I rebuke you, Satan. The Lord will be in the name of Jesus. The voice of the Jesus is the one who is the Jesus. The Lord is the one who 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 is the one Vai nada, eu conheço nem de que mo. É bugu do é não nisso. É bem é não naga. A chona me quer cair teli é. A jamo nem de que mo. É bugu do é não nisso. É bem é não na. A chona me quer cair teli é. Vale. E basta aí Jesus lhe. É bem o Master Jesus. Azo agai nada. Se é bugu do é não nisso. É bem o é não naga. A chona me quer cair teli é. Alleluia. Thank you, Father. Don't depend on God, as you will never fail. Hallelujah. God is wonderful. He's powerful. He will change everything. He's our Lord. He's our Savior. He's our Savior. Hallelujah. We're going to do well with Jesus. Hallelujah. Everybody out there, claim it in Jesus' name. I claim it in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. E quando na bamba nesse, e basta aí Jesus lhe, e bem o Master Jesus, a vai nada. Na bamba nesse, e basta aí Jesus lhe, e bem o Master Jesus, a vai nada. 
Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And that end up our song for today. I'm just going to take it back a little bit so that we go back to it after the Bible study. My brothers and sisters, let's uh, hit the ground with our Bible study. And uh, uh, the paracopy we are today is uh, Esther. I was going to uh, continue with uh, uh, Paracopy Esther chapter 4. And uh, we are in God behind the scenes in Esther. We just started Esther, Esther a few days ago, a few weeks ago. Uh, everybody, you are welcome again. If you're just joining us, this is Bible Study, the of Christ, Nation Church Bible Study, where Reverend Dr. Joy is the chapel leader and uh, general overseer. And uh, thank you for joining uh, now and even after the service. Thank you so much. Even when we cut off our, uh, the things to the room or to Facebook, to every social media daily, thank you for just stopping by and pause and listen to the preaching of God to, and, and uh, helping us to, to share the gospel of Jesus Christ and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. So let's go. Let's go. Let's dive into this. So we're in the uh, book of Esther. God behind the scene in Esther's. Esther is one book that they never mentioned God, but God was behind the scene. Hallelujah, somebody. Who is there that God is behind the scene in your life? You don't see the hand of God. You don't see the face of God. You don't see any sign of God, but God is working it out, somebody. I feel like preaching, I feel like uh, singing, I feel like worshiping God, but I'm on time on this. But let me take one minute of... Uh, just pause to tell you about my God. Who is there? What are you going through, baby? What are you going through, brethren? What are you going through, beloved? What are you going through, brothers and sisters, that you don't see the hand of God? You don't see the big hand of God, the battle fighter of God. You don't see any signs, anything about God. But I tell you, God is working it out. He's working it out. He's working it out. <laughs> Who am I speaking to? He's working it out to all of you, everyone online that's watching now, watch later. Anybody that this preaching, this Bible study will come across. I say, God is working it out. You might not see his hand. You might not see his sign. You might not see anything about God. But God is working it out. Because God, time is the best and delay is not denier. So keep on keeping on. Don't quit. Don't throw in the towel. Stand firm and see what the Lord will do. Stand still and see what the Lord will do. Because God is working it out behind the scene. Breaking those uh, things that need to be broken. God is working it out. Separating the Red Sea of your life. I said, God is working it out. Bringing the wall of Jericho of your life. I said, God is working it out. Sending the armor of your life to his gallows. I said, God is working it out. Taking all your enemy down. And you become the full star. I said, God is working out things good for you that love the Lord. So stand still. Stand up. Don't give up. The book of Esther. As we go through, you understand. It's one book that I never mentioned God, but God, God is behind the scene. That's our title today. Although God's name is not mentioned in the Hebrew text of Esther, he makes himself known in this way. Come on, listen. Put this in your own scenario, your own and your whole predicament. Uh, in uh, the right reference and is chapter 2, 17. Esther, who worshipped God, became queen. Uh, uh, chapter 4, 14. God's existence and his power over the affairs of men are assumed. Chapter 4, 16. Fasting was a distant spiritual activity are usually connected with prayer oh hallelujah somebody divine incident the uh, uh the book of esther is filled with divine interventions baby number that uh chapter 2 21 23 mordecai over overhears a dead plot and saves the king's life 
chapter 6, 1, the king cannot sleep and decide to read a history book. Chapter 6, 2, oh, the king reads the, the exact page needed for the moment reminding him of an unpaid reward that my breast pause right here to pray that the, uh, any, anybody that want to bless us this year and moving forward in our life the person that God is going to use as a ladder, as a key, as our helper, our, our life helper, that's going to help us. God will keep that person like he kept the king. God will give that person sleepless night for until he comes to bless us, until he comes to favor you, until he comes to favor all of us. In the name of Jesus, Master I pray. I remember that point of prayer so that we can do that prayer during the prayer time. Come on, let's run. As there are reason, as a page, and needed for the moment, reminding him of an unpaid reward. Is there anything you have done? Nobody have remembered. The Lord of uh, God of Medicaia, the Lord that made the king to remember Medicaia after so many years. We made whoever that you have helped, whatever you have done, and you have not gotten your reward, and the enemies are covering it and covering it as if they, they are too much or have. But the power of God that break the seed of Lebanon will break that and uh, remind that person to reward you. To reward you, to reward you, to reward me, to reward all of us in Jesus' name. Somebody shout hallelujah and say amen. <laughs> Mordecai, reward Mordecai, sir. Uh, chapter 7, 9, 10, Hamas plan is exactly reversed. Uh, the, incident, the intended victims are the victors. Hallelujah. In anything that the devil has messed you up or the devil is trying to do or plan evil for you, like Hamas plan for Mordecai, the same thing that happened to Mordecai will happen to you in the name of Jesus. And the same thing that happened to Amma in this paracopy will happen to you and your enemies. Woo! Like he us in there. In the name of Jesus, baby, if you believe it, brothers, if you believe it, child of God, if you believe it, my brothers and sisters, shout hallelujah, say amen. And if you're online, just type amen, amen. Claim it! Because so shall it be as a providence of God I'm prophesying today. Oh, the book of Esther is too much, too much, too much. You see what I mean? When God is behind things, things happen. A book they've never called God, but see how powerful the Spirit of God is taking over me. Ooh. The hammer plan was exactly reversed. And they are your enemy, your enemy, our enemy plans will be reversed in the name of Jesus. And whatever the enemy intended for us will be victory. Hallelujah. We'll be victors. And our enemy will be victims in the name of Jesus. Your enemy will be victims and you'll be victor in the name of Jesus. Call of us in there. My enemy will be vit victim. And I will be victims in the name of Jesus. My enemy will be victims. My children enemy will be victims. My husband enemy will be my marriage enemy will be victims. I'm, I wonder I will be victims. My children will be victims. My marriage will be victims. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be for you, for you, for you all over the world. Your enemy will be victims. Ah, you be vicious in the name of Jesus. Why was God's name hidden in the book of Esther? There were many gods in the middle, his and Persia empire. Usually their names were mentioned in official document. In official document. Amen. In official documents, in order to control the people who worship those Particular gods, which is small g, the Jews were unique in being the people of one God. Hallelujah. It's only one God who can worship no more, no other God. A story about them was natural. A story about God, for even the name Jews carried it, the connection, the connection of one who worship Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. It's Yahweh, it's God, it's Chuku, it's King of Kings, or Kwan, Kwan, Kwan is his name. He carries all your load. Oh. And he comes and take care of it, and he goes through your mountains and level it to the road. He goes down through the valley. He reaches to the highest mountain, and he goes to the lowest mountain, the lowest valley. The blood of Jesus Christ, oh, we never, ever, ever lose his power. Hallelujah! Somebody's name is Yahweh. 
as I risk our life by coming before the king. Her courageous act gives us a model to, uh, uh, to follow in approaching a difficult, dangerous task like Esther. We can do this, number one, calculate the cost. Esther realized her life was at stake. Two, set priorities. She believed that the safety of the Jewish race was more important than her life. Oh, and the three, prepare she gathers support and fasted. Mm. Determine a course of action and move ahead boldly, my brothers and sisters. The, in, the, the interlude to listen, to listen her commitment to what she had to do. The wild reverend, as a four, he, she determined a course of action and move ahead boldly, and she did not think too long about it, allowing the interlude to lessen her commitment to what she had to do. I tell people this when you want to do something, just get it done. Just go and do it. Whatever it is, do it. When you start talking to people, especially small heart, say you can't do it. You know you have not done it before. No, 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 no. Whatever go put in your soul, go ahead, do it secretly. And let your people, whoever you want to run to your mouth, let them see it and surprise and say, So you did it. Say, Yes, I did it by his grace. I couldn't do it by myself, but by the grace of God, I did it. Her star was determined. And he the course of action and move ahead boldly. You got to move ahead boldly. Move ahead. What is it that you got to move ahead boldly in your life? What is it, baby? Is it looking for job? Is it going to a next level? Is it move? Is it is it new contract? Is it new things you want? I, I, I command, I declare, declare, brother, and sisters, and brethren, and beloved. What is it that you're scared of doing? Move. I, I command you today, and I declare, move boldly into it. Move ahead. Move ahead, brother. Move ahead. Hey, sister, move boldly into it today because uh, you will not uh, 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 regret it. So, uh, uh, Esther, move boldly. She did not think too long about it. When you are thinking too long, Satan will come and Satan, you can't do it. You don't think too long. Move boldly into whatever you are doing. And that we we tell you to lessen her, uh, your commitment to what you are going to do like Esther did in this pericope. Do you have uh, uh, to face a hostile audience, <laughs> confront a friend, or delegate sub subject, my brothers and sisters, brethren and beloved, uh, child of God, or talk to your family about changes to be made? Hey, 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 hey. Are you in the position to do all that rather than deadwing uh, uh, difficult situation or putting them off? I come to tell you today, take action with confidence by following Esther's inspir inspiring example today. Take action. Take action. I can tell you that action speak like other voice. People, a lot of you that deal with me, understand I don't play with talking, 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 talking. Talk is cheap. Oh, I talk the talk and walk the walk. In fact, I walk the walk even I don't even feel like talking the talk. But when you got to walk, action, action, action. Any man that talk too much is useless. Any woman that talk too much is useless. As far as I'm concerned, I don't know about you. But whoever that take action is my baby. Oh, that person is wiser. Oh, wiser than the serpent. Because when you take action, before you the Satan on his group or enemy knows what is going on, you will say, don't do. That's exactly what I studied here. So, Rather than um, the training or during difficult situation, talking about it, cry, pity party, crying, I come to tell you today, I declare for you today, putting them off and say, I will do it later. Take action with confidence by following Esther's inspiration. Although, my brothers and sisters, although it has been a... a, 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 a uh, in this parochial, it had been a place where God is not mentioned, but God is behind the scene, like our topic. Although Esther was the queen and shared some of the king's power and wealth, she still needed God's protection. I don't care what we are. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you are. Oh, you still need God's protection. Please, I tell you, I beg you in the name of Jesus, whatever you are. Your weight, your fame, your power, whatever you are, I don't care. You still need God protection. Listen to this. I said, though Esther was the queen and she had some of the king power and wealth, she still needed God's 
power if she still needed God's protection and wisdom. When God give you protection and wisdom, I don't care what befall of you. The Bible that said in the verse that who shall be wiser than the serpent will start working for you. The joy of the Lord will start working for you. Wisdom. No one is secured in his own or her own strength in any political system. It is foolish to believe that wet opposition can make us uh, uh, impair, impair us to danger. Oh, deliverance only comes from God. Amen, somebody. Hashtag. Said deliverance only come from God. Ah, calabos in the air. Hashtag deliverance only comes from God. Mm, after the decree to kill the Jews was uh, after the decree to kill the Jews was given, Mordecai and Esther could have despaired, decided to serve only themselves, or just waited for God's intervention. Sometimes I'm waiting for God to speak to us. There are things you want to do. Go ahead, because God is there with you. God is saying go. <coughs> Excuse me. God is saying go. Instead, they saw that God had placed them in their position for a purpose. The position you are today, wherever you are today, God has placed you there for a purpose. So if any challenges come out of that, goodies come out of that, bad things come out, come on, stand up. Be a bold, boldly personality, boldly man or woman, stand up, boldly human being, and do what call it, God called you to do. And don't be there complaining or saying, uh, I'm waiting for, what are you waiting? God has spoken. God speak every minute and two eyes ahead. That's the power of God and the power belongs to God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, come on, come on, I'm telling you. God, a place them god's intervention instead they saw that god had placed them in their position for a purpose wherever you are today god has placed you there for a purpose so they seized the moment and acted and i declare for you today seize the moment wherever position you are seize the moment right now and acted upon it when it is within our reach to save others to serve others to help others to save others from problem or whatever we must do so immediately we must take action immediately don't let them down already because i wanted to um, my father would tell him so you makagwa a beige boy oh you magwa a beige boy he said my father said my friend i wanted to tell it's not a good friend baby but my friend come let me tell you it's a good friend masu kelebo that's a bit deep very deep very deep and i'm going to repeat it again in my native language i said my father would tell me so i'm going to come here let me tell you are you magwa in English interpretation, my brothers and sister, my father said to me, oh, my daddy said to me, say my, say my daughter, come here and sit down. He said, my, he said that friend that will say, come, I wanted to tell you something, it's not your good friend. <laughs> but that friend that said, come, let me tell you something, it's your good friend. Oh, I leave that for you. you. You get that after the preaching. Hallelujah, somebody. So, they seize the moment and added when it is uh, within our reach to serve others, we must do so in life-threatening situation especially. Don't withdraw, behave selfishly, uh, wallowing in despair, wallowing in pity party, and I can't do it. I cannot do it. I'm scared. I'm fearful. Or wait for God to fix everything. No, no, no. I tell people, God don't fall from heaven to do things. God keep you in this world. God keep me in this world. God keep us in this world to be his hand and leg and do everything that he needs to do. But you got to allow God to help you to do it. So God to fit the people waiting for God. But instead, ask God for his direction and act. Ask God for wisdom and art. God may have placed you where you are today for such a time as this, as he placed Esther. God is not specially um, mentioned in the book of Esther, but it is obvious that Mordecai expected God to deliver his people. Hey, 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 hey. Why the book of Esther does not mention God directly, his presence fills the pages. Hallelujah. Look at the powerful preaching today, powerful teaching of the Bible. That's the presence of God. I can't do this. I didn't even plan for all this. I was, I, I was just coming to do my normal Bible study. But look at what God is doing. That is God for you when you don't expect Him to do. Oh, that's what the word of God says. When I'm weak, I am strong. That's the word of God. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible says that God. God is not, uh, although God 
God is not a, a measure, a, 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 although God's name was not mentioned in the book of Esther, but I tell you, his presence fills the pages. <laughs> and somebody can believe in God's care. And because they acted at the right time, God used them to save his people, all his people. By calling for a feast, Esther was asking the Jews to pray for God's help on her dangerous mission. Any mission you are going in this world, baby, is dangerous. Small or big is dangerous, especially without God. But even if it's dangerous, how big it is, how bad it is, how difficult it is, when God is in it, when God wisdom and strength and power, when you have consulted the Almighty God, the only one that knows it all, and change up with change. Hey, 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 hey. Everything will be better, will be fine in the name of Jesus, because I know the God that turned your bitter to better. Hallelujah. The God that turned your mess to miracle. Hey, 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 hey. Turn that your pain to pain. Powerful, powerful, powerful testimony. In Old Testament, my brothers and sisters, prayer always accompanies fasting. You can see that in Exodus 33. 4, 28, Deuteronomy 9, 9, 0, 8, 21, 23. An important function, an important function uh, uh, of a community of believers is mutual support in difficult times. Say that again, Rev, because the community don't know that no more. Believers don't know that no more. Christians don't know that. People just want to be with you when all is well. But when it's not well, they keep you to a place where you want to wallow in pain and die they don't care but i come to tell you baby if you come across the bible study learn that an important function of community an important function of christians an important con function of churches an important con fu function of community of believers church believers christians is a mutual support in difficult times, when you are expressing struggles, uh, turn to fellow believers uh, for support by sharing your trials with them uh, and getting strength from the bo bond that you, unites you. And uh, when they succumb to you, brothers and sisters, they didn't send you no message to Washington Post. They didn't send you no message to your boot or to your friend. They come to you, so you take that to God and all of you pray. So when you are in a difficult place, share it to your, to your uh, be believers so that they will support you. And you unite and the bond that unites you ask them to pray for you and when others need your support give it willingly baby give it willingly without looking back and don't go carry their, their case telling the whole world save your own skin and watch out for number one for number one are moths that reflect our world selfish outlook on life. Esther's attitude stands in bold contrast to this. She knew what she had to do and she knew it could cost her life. But she still, and yet, she responded. And yet, she still did it. She still go for it. And yet, in the midst of her life going, being in, in danger, she responded. And I love what he said. If I perish, I perish. We should have the same commitment to do what is right despite the possible consequences. Do you try to save yourself by remaining silent rather than standing up for what is right? I tell you, stand up for what is right. Fall for what is right. Fall if you're alone to fall for what is right and stand for what is right. Amen. But they can fall for everything and stand for everything because you are coward you are useless if you stand for everything but if you stand for what is right stand for something you know is right go there by yourself god is always with you hallelujah somebody so do you try to to save your face uh, and save yourself by remaining silent in a place where you're supposed to stand up for what is right i call you today decide to do what god wants and trust him for the outcome. Hallelujah. God was in control. Yet Mordecai and Esther had to act. Like I said, God don't fall from heaven. <laughs> we are here to act for whatever God wants us to do. So God was in control. Yet Mordecai and Esther had to act. We cannot understand how both, how both can be true at the same time. And yet they are. God chooses to walk through those willing to act for him. God is a God that does not force us. When you are willing, he's ready. That's why he said, I love availability. God Almighty love availability. If you think you are quote-unquote, you are all that, a bag of chips, 
<laughs> God can replace you just like that. Availability. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So don't brag and say, I'm doing this for God. God can replace you just like that. So just humble yourself and continue to do what you have to do. In this world, whatever God place you, whatever you're doing in this world, if you're alive, you are here for a purpose. He wakes you up. For a do it with all spirit of humility because God life availability. We cannot understand how both can be true at the same time. And yet they are God chooses to walk through those, through you, through you, through all of us, through those willing to add for him. We should pray as if all depend on God. Every time you pray for anything at all, every time you pray, pray right now, pray later, pray forever, as if everything depends on God and act as if all depended on us. We should pray as if all depend on God and act as if all depended on us. We should avoid two extremes, doing nothing, feeling that we must do something. Esther, 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 we treasure security even though, we treasure security even though we know that security in this life carries no guarantees. Possessions can be destroyed. Beauty fades, baby. Relationship can be broken. Dead is inevitable. Real security then must be found where, 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 yeah, God, I'm glad you ask. Real security then must be found beyond this life. Only when our security rests on God Almighty, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, His unchanging nature can we face the challenges that life is sure to bring our way like it does in the time of first time. As that beauty and character won King's heart, he made her, uh, her his queen. He made her his queen, he made her his queen. And even in her favored position, however, she will risk her life by attending, attempting to see the king when he had not requested her presence. Because that was against the king's law and their policy those days. There was no guarantee that the king will even see her. Although she was the queen, although she was a queen, she was still not secured. Mm -hmm. But con uh, consciously and courageously, hey, 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 Esther decided to risk her life by approaching the king on behalf of her people. She made her plans carefully. The Jews were asked to fast and pray with her before she went to the king. Oh, I tell people prayer and fasting, they go together, their husband and wife, they don't, they don't miss, they don't miss, they don't, they don't, their husband and wife, prayer and fasting, hey, 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 their husband and wife, they know they break, they know they do divorce, <laughs> they are together, <laughs> they know a parallel line, that they go together, they are gone, they are magnet, prayer and fasting, whoo, when you put those things together, I don't care what you go through where you put us in together the word of god in the book of Matthew comes when jesus said some things cannot be undone unless you pray and fast hallelujah somebody Woo! <laughs> i feel like preaching but uh, it's a bible study but i'm gonna just do what god tell me to do hallelujah say esther decided to risk her life by approaching the king on her behalf on behalf of her people she made her plans carefully the jews were asked to fast and pray with her before she went to the king what am i saying here baby oh i'm glad you asked i say whatever you want to do in your life pause and pass fast and pray pause and fast of pause and fast and pray to god so that the god of king of glory king of kings and lord of lord will help you out Oh, they called them and she, they, they, uh, bef they pray and fast before she went to see the king. Then on the choosing, then on the choosing day, she went before him, and he uh, he did ask her to come forward and speak. Only God can change the heart of a king. <laughs> hey, yesterday I was praying for something about my life. And I was laying down. I said, God, the word of God said you owe the heart of kings. Uh, so I put this, uh, I put this issue into your hand. You owe the heart of this person. 
Oh, whatever I need, I will get in the name of Jesus. You are the heart of men and the heart of women being. The heart of anyone that stand within my breakthrough. You stand between things that I'm begging you for. God Almighty, you hold the heart of men and women. Do what you can do and let me testify upon your mountain Zion. Baby, you got to believe in God. Prayer and fasting more. So according to the Sparocopy, the Jews were asked to fast and pray with her before she went to see the king. Then on the chosen day, she went before him, before the king, and he did ask her to come forward and speak. Only God can do that. Because now God has grabbed the king's heart and favor, put favor, put love, put likeness, put joy, put receptive, put accept. I can go ahead. Can I continue? <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. The king come forward, tell him, ask him to come forward. But instead of issuing her request directly, she invited him and her man to a banquet. Wisdom. When you have wisdom, you deal with people. You deal with wicked people. You let them know, it's not about me, baby. Don't fight me. I tell people all the time, don't fight Reverend Dr. Joy. I only want you to go hunt. Don't try to fight me in any way, but... Whatever you do, that gossip, hate, hatred, jealousy, don't try it. Because you know what? This woman, I don't even, I don't even care. I believe since I was a kid, the fly that knocked me on my back will never come to my phone. Because if you come, I will, I'll kill it. So if you can't come to my phone to say anything, confront me as a real person, real woman or real man, don't even start. Just go to hell, man. Because you know what? I don't have time for, 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 for foolishness. I don't have time for foolishness. I don't have time for rubbish. My time is precious because I don't know how many days or years that remaining. My time is precious to serve the Lord with all my heart, with all my soul. To serve the Lord in spirit and truth. To serve the Lord and serve his people. To be the flower of God. To be the celebrator of Jesus Christ. To spread the gospel of Jesus Christ according to his mandate. So well, baby, what do you think you're going to do with me? I don't, I, don't even, I don't even know whether you are there. <laughs> Unless if you are doing something positive, something reliable, something magnetic, something that is matter, then I can pay you attention. But every other thing you are doing, don't try it because you know, I have a God that fight for me. I don't even know what you are doing, but you will reveal them to me. And they will say, I take care of business. That's exactly what happened here. See, but instead of issuing her banquet directly, Esther invited him and Hamad to a banquet because he has a plan. He was sought enough. He was. He had, she has that wisdom enough to realize she had something on her mind. The king had that wisdom and know that there's something in her mind. And yet she conveyed the importance of the matter by insisting on a second banquet. Yet, she conveyed the importance of the matter by insisting on the second part. In the, in the meantime, God was walking behind the scene. <laughs> That's our title. God, I don't know what God is doing for you, but my brothers and sisters, God is walking behind the scene for you. For you, for you, for you, for you. Don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. God was walking behind the scene. He caused the king to read the historical records of the kingdom late uh, one night, uh, like your enemies, well, like uh, the people that are going to favor us, we do as far after the service and forever. Oh, he caused God, caused uh, the king to, to go to the historical records of years ago of the kingdom and late one night, night and the king discovered that Mordecai had once, had once saved his life and king lost no time in honoring Mordecai for that act. During the second banquet, Esther told the king of Hamas plan plot against the Jewish and Hamas was doomed. 
Our enemy must be doomed in the name of Jesus. Our enemy must be doomed in the name of Jesus. The word of God in the book of the Bible, the light book of life. I love the Bible. That it said that the, the you that dig the pit for whoever that dig the pit for us will fall into it in the name of Jesus. Whoever that dig a pit for you, my brothers and sisters, brethren and child of God, we fall into it, and that's exactly what happened here. Hey, whoever that set trap for you, set trap for us, we fall into that trap in the name of Jesus. Uh, guess what? Guess what? Listen to me. I said during the second banquet, Esther told the king of uh, the Hamas uh, plot against Jewish and Hamas was doomed. There is a grim justice in Hamas death on the gallows. He had built for Mordecai. Uh, it seems uh, fitting uh, that the day on which the Jewish were to be slaughtered uh, become the day the enemies died. What am I saying, baby? I said the day uh, your enemies planning they're going to kill you. <laughs> The trap that your enemy have set for you. <laughs> oh, the pit that the enemy have dig for you, baby. I say on that day, Masu Kalabos in the I declare that decree. What happened right here in the book of Esther will happen to you in the name of Jesus. Sant hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Somebody Kalabos in the There is a grim justice in your life, life of uh, in your life uh, about the death of your enemy. Woo! On the gallons uh, that they built for you, <laughs> on the trap. Uh, and they set for you, they build that place and set you a trap for you, dig a pit for you. I said, oh, it seems fitting that the day of which the Jewish were to be slaughtered become the day of their enemy. The day your enemy planned to slaughter you will become the day of that enemy will be slaughtered in the name of Jesus. So shall it be as it happened and so shall it happen in all of everyone, everyone, everyone that come through this teaching, this prison, so shall it happen to you. Your family to your children to everything that concerns so shall it happen to me everything that the enemy have planned the day fitting them to bring us down to slaughter us to kill us that will be day our enemy will die by fire by thunder in the name of jesus they will die by fire by thunder in the name i said they will die by fire by thunder in the name of jesus somebody shout hallelujah Woo! thank you jesus Esther's uh, risk confirmed that God was the source of our security. God was beyond the sin. Oh, God was there. God was behind the sin of Esther. God was uh, Esther's security. God came to a place. God came to a place where everything was supposed to come to a, 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 a a place when people start thinking that you can't make it. You will not be able to do it. You will not be able to do it. And life has come to a place where you have to believe in God. And after believing in God, my brothers and sister, you have to believe in yourself. The word confidence is very important in serving the Lord. Because the word confidence comes with faith faith and confidence come together you believe in god you have faith you believe in god you have confidence and you believe in god you have confidence that you can do it so esther's risk confirmed that god was the source of her security how much of your security lies in your possession how much is your security lies in your position how much is your security lies in your possessions position or reputation fame and power your money god has not placed God has not placed you in your present position for your own benefit, not at all. I keep on saying it. God put you there for a reason, for himself, to help others, to help, to, 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 to be his leg and his mouth and his mouth with, to help others. So God has not placed you in your present position for your own benefit. He put you there to serve him. He put you there to serve his people. As in Esther's case, this may involve risking your security. Are you willing to let God by your ultimate security? Are you willing to let God by your ultimate security? To let God take care of everything that you do. 
The strength of Esther, her strides and accomplishment, her beauty and character won the heart of uh, uh, the king, well, Pasha's king. She combined courage and careful planning. Anything we're doing in this life, you need to carefully plan and courageous. She combined courage with careful plan. She was open to advice and willing to act. Whenever we're doing something, you got to listen to good advices, not bad advices, don't go to wrong people. You go to wrong people, you get bad advice. But if you get good people, you get she was open to you gotta be open, you gotta be flexible, you have to change, it's constant, you gotta be open. She was open to advice and willing to add. She was more concerned for others than for her own security. Whenever you place others first, a a a God run to your own uh, 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 things that you need him to do. Listen, we should learn from Esther's life. Serving God often demands that we risk our own security. Yeah, we risk our own life, we risk our own security, our own personality, our own prestige. Whatever it is, we lose it. We 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 take a risk of that. God has a purpose for the situation in which. He places you, he places you, he places us. Whatever it is, God has purpose. There's a purpose. There is purpose that you are going through what you're going through today, right now. Right now, I don't know my brothers and sisters. I don't know who talking about. But God has a purpose for that situation, for that thing that is giving you sleepless nights, restless nights, tears. That thing that broke you. That thing that you are, you are broken. Your heart is broken. There's nothing you, you don't know. God has a purpose for that disappointment. Stop running to the people that disappoint you. I cry in pity party. I was in a, no God takes those people away for a reason. Every disappointment is a, it's an appointment. Every disappointment is a blessing. Every disappointment is a blessing. And every disappointment is an appointment. As every disappointment is a blessing. And every disappointment is an appointment. What did I say, baby? So whoever that leave you or left your life, don't go back there to them because they are God for good. Uh, don't go back to your Egypt. Keep on moving forward because God took them out of your life for good. Hallelujah, somebody. <laughs> If they didn't live your life, you couldn't know that you can open that business. You couldn't, they didn't live your life. You wouldn't cry to know, oh, where am I? I have to go back to my school. So if they didn't live your life, you wouldn't know to go to the next stage, the next level. God has a purpose for the situations in which you are going through today. Or oh, he places you or places us. Courage, why often vital, does not replace careful planning. <laughs> yeah, if you have courage, they go together with careful planning. Okay? And the Vita 36, uh, where uh, Pasha Empire, this thing happened Pasha Empire, and uh, the occupation. Uh, Esther was uh, the wife of King Ezra, Queen of Pasha, the relative of Esther, cousin Mordecai, husband Ezra, and father Abila. The key verse of Esther Go gather together all the Jews who are in Suv and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days, three night, three days, night or day. I and my maids will fast as you do. When this is done, I will go to the king, even though it is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. Pericope Esther 4.16. Esther's story is told in the book of Esther. Oh, hatred and bitterness are like weeds, weeds with long roots that grow in the heart and corrupt all of life. Every time somebody hates you, it's a weed, like you plant something in the ground, become rude, they keep on hating you. Hama was so consumed with hatred towards Mordecai that he could not even enjoy the honor of being invited to Esther's party. Hebrew 12, 15 wants us to watch out that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defy many. Don't let hatred and its resulting bitterness build in your heart. It is not good. Don't let it. Do not let hatred and its resulting bitterness build in your heart like hammer. You will find it backfiring against you. Sister Paracopi, Esther 6, 6, 13, Esther 7, 9, Esther 10. If they mention, if they, if the main mention of someone's name provokes you to anger, confess your bitterness as sin. Uh, talk to God about it. Ignoring bitterness, hiding it from others, or making 
uh, superficial changes in behavior is not enough. You need to talk to God about it. You need to talk. Holy Spirit need to work on you. If bitterness isn't completely removed in your life, it will grow back, making matters worse in your life. You will never get to where God wants to go into. Because I don't know. Let me pause right here. Who do you hate so much? Who you have hurt you or you diverse for them? Anything you just see them with a verse up and down, baby. Go to your closet, call upon their name, call upon God, tell God how you are hurting. God knows everything, He knows your heart. Tell God how those people hurt you. Tell God how that man, that woman hurt you. Tell God everything. Who I don't know who your friends, family. Tell God. And tell God I release them today in the name of Jesus. I tell you, after that, you'll be like, boom, like a heavy load leaves you. And whatever you're looking for, you get it. Try it. It helps. It works. Amas family and friends who were as arrogant as he suggested that the gallons be 75 feet high. I'm sure when they were sitting on the table discussing how to deal with Mordecai, Esther, and the Jewish, they were speaking some colloquial English. You know, they started in the board of directors of the table of the wickedness. Uh -huh. Because I love the Bible when they were commenting on this board of uh, uh, directors and tables of the board of directors uh, making decisions on how to kill us. The Bible, no David, uh, came into the Psalms and Psalm 23. It said, the Lord will prepare a table in the presence of your enemy. Hallelujah, somebody. He said, the Lord prepare a table in the presence of your enemy then they were talking but they didn't know the Lord was preparing a table in the presence of an enemy who am I talking to is the Lord preparing a table in the presence of your enemy come on stand firm and stand strong pray and fast fast and pray so I'm sure they are making those decisions and they say, oh, you know, the guy might be too, too, too small if you make it 50 or 20. Make it 75 feet so that it can be deep, 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 deep. Probably built on a city wall or some prominent building. They wanted to make sure that all the people of the city saw Mordecai as dead and will be reminded of the consequence of disobeying Hammer. Hammer, come on here. Who are you anyway? Hammer, who do you think you are? <laughs> Human being that God created, you are planning all this for him? You think you are God? Come on. Did you forget there was a, someone up there called God who created you and the same person created all of us? Who is the hammer I'm talking to? What do you think you are? You're just hating people. You're just hating that personality, that human being. And the person you are hating don't even care about you. Don't even know that you hate him. Don't even, or her, don't even know that you're existing in the first place. Who are you? Who is the hammer of our life that is creating all this time to make the girl of 75 and make it big? Come on, come on, come on. Let's go and see what happened to you, you. So stop being hammer. Every amount of our life, stop. Or you go like hammer in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You say, God, that dead, I will be reminded of the consequence of disobeying hammer. Who are you to be disobeying anyway? You are the one that disobeying God. Ironically, this high gallows allowed everyone to see hammer's death. I said it over and over again. When your enemy plan for you, they, they will fall into their gallon. Unable to sleep, the king decided to review the history of his religion and his servant read to him about Mordecai's good deal. This seems uh, 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 co co uh, coincidental, but God is always at work. There's nothing like a co coincidental. Oh, there's nothing like but, uh, uh, good luck. Or, uh, this. Everything about God is ordained. This day was a day. It's not coincidental. But God is always at work. God has been working quietly, patiently throughout your life as well behind the scene. Say that, Rev. I repeat. Rewind. I say God has been working quietly, patiently throughout your life, throughout my life, throughout everyone's life, everyone that come across this. God has been working patiently. 
quietly throughout your life behind the scene as well. The events uh, that have come together for good and not men coincidence. Oh, at all at all. They are the result of God's sovereign control over the course of people's life in the name of Jesus. Romans 8 28 said it all. Nothing happened in a child of God's life coincidentally. Is it a coincidence? No, it's ordained. <laughs> because God is always behind the scene. Very quiet and working patiently. Then he said, delay is not denial. God's time is the best. Haman had wept, but he craved something even his money could not buy. Respect. He could buy it tappings of uh, success and power but his lust for popularity show of stupidity had become an obsession when anything turned obsession in your life go back to god in prayer there's nothing god cannot do forgive any of us don't let your desire for approval, a desire to please these people, your desire for uh, applause, applauses, people clapping hand for your popularity drive you to immoral actions. Instead, let it drive you to do right. <laughs> but the guy had exposed a plot to assassinate king. Thus, he had saved the king's life in Pericope, Esther 2, 21, 23. I know how my hide that. Although his good deal was recorded in the history books, uh, Mordecai had gone unrewarded. And I'm sure the same mama and his group uh, hide that one. They're not Jewish, so they let on the But you know what? They were so foolish. They did not hide it all. Because whatever you write in the paper, oh, it's a history. Whatever you type, it's a history. I come to tell you, baby, I post right here. I told people long time ago as a young girl, as a young school girl. I love school, and yes, I love to be in school. I'm a book girl. Oh, as a student, I talked to some people. I don't write uh, and I don't text. You know why? <laughs> because what I write and text become a history. <laughs> so if you know, no, 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 that you know what you're writing is wrong, don't write it. If you notice, uh, I can text and write, uh, but everything I do or write is about the word of God. Oh, uh, you have no idea. I don't know how to text before, but God have to teach me how to text. Uh, and when he taught me, he was teaching me how to do morning coffee scripture. And I start typing, I start texting. I start typing, and God start teaching me. I press A like one, two, three, but today, hallelujah, somebody. The, the money coffee is all over the world in all social media. I don't care what it is. If you come across it, your life will change. That's what God wants us to do. Write things that matters. When they were writing this, they, they said, hey, hey, oh, reward we're not going to reward uh, reward uh, Mordecai. But they wrote it down, though. Anything written is a history. Let's go. Let's run on to this. Put on your belt. Your belt. We got to go. We got to go. Although his good deal was recorded in the history books, although, Mordecai had gone unrewarded. But God, but God, you know my preaching, but God, but God, I said on Sunday, but God, every time you see that conjunction, but God is about to do great things, Calabos, India. Hey, where is the but God of your life? You've been going through so much, my brothers and sisters. You've been going through so much. I come and declare and I decree today, but God, time is your time today. But God is into your life now. God is about to do great things in your life. But God is about to do great things in your life. I say in your situation, but I put that but God in conjunction right now in Jesus' name. I declare there will be a change in your situation. There will be a change in your I said there will be something good into your doubt, your disappointment. There will be a blessing and appointment into that your pain and sorrow. There will be joy and blessing. God will divine favor. We favor you. God will remember you and remember you in the name of Jesus. Masuke Lebos in there, but God. <laughs> But God was serving Mordecai's reward for the right time. Just as Hama was about to hand Mordecai unjustly, the king was ready to give the reward. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Calabos in there. Oh, I feel like preaching though. I feel like running. Hallelujah. When the enemy just about the enemy saying, I got him, I got him, I got him. <laughs> let's kill him, let's kill him. Here comes the reward of you. You've suffered so much in years. You can count uncountable days and months and years. 
I come to declare upon you tonight, this morning, I declare and I decree that your time of suffering is over. Your time of that bad, stagnant problems that don't want to let you go is over. But God in your life, but God, this is your season of but God. This is your season of but God. This is your season of but God. I declare, declare, this is your season of but God in your life. In Jesus' name, somebody shout hallelujah. Type amen, 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 and amen. Claim it. I don't care. I don't know what you're going through. But the word of God has been spoken. Whatever you are going through in your life, especially those stagnant problems that just stay there. You pray and fast. It looks like say God not here. As I declare as a child of God, today as a daughter of Zion, as the mad peace and oracle of I declare and decree. But God sees in your life. But God sees in your life. But God sees in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, my brother, my sister, amen, somebody. I declare. Woo! Hmm. Whatever the enemy has planned to take you down. Declare but God reward. But God reward. But God, everywhere you have been unrewarded for everything you have done. Hey, lucky level. I say I've declared but God reward. Hey, Yakila. In the name of Jesus, but God reward, but God reward, but God reward in Jesus' name. But God was saving my guy as reward for the right time. Because God's time is bad. Just as Hammer was about to hand Mordecai unjustly, the king was ready to give the reward. Although God promises to reward our good deeds, we sometimes feel our payoff is too far away. Oh yeah, I don't know who is there. Who is out there thinking that your payoff is too far away? Be patient. Be patient because God is patient. And he that worship him must be patient. I say be patient, baby. God steps in when it will do the most good. Hey, say that again, Rev. I say, God, be patient, be patient. Because God steps in. Hey, he steps in when he will do the most good. Somebody shout hallelujah. God steps in when it will do the most good. Come here, what am I talking about? He steps in. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Be patient. And see what God will do. Because God stops, steps in when it will do the most good. God does not come at his own time, at my own time. No, 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 no. He comes in because his time is the best. Come here, the, the, the Israelites. They were suffering in the land of uh, Egypt. They were, but where God, they said, oh, our payoff is too far. We cannot even get there. We are going to die in this. But be patient. God steps in when it will do the most good. God stepped in in Esther's life when it will, it will do the, the most good. God stepped in in Mordecai's life in all the Jews that God must stop in, step in in my life, step in your life, step in everyone's life, everyone that come across it. God must step in in our life at the time, the most good time for him so, so that he will get the glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Guess what? What did God say in the book? Of, uh, he said, he said, I... I brought up Pharaoh for a time like this. <laughs> what is that challenge? What is that struggles, temptation, problems, suffering, suffering, pains? What is that thing that caused you heartbroken, restless night, sleepless night? What is that thing? Mm, that is like Pharaoh. What is that Pharaoh? Who is that Pharaoh? What is that Pharaoh in your life that God has set up to gain the glory? Listen, my brothers and sisters, I post here to declare and declare to you that be patient. Because God has stepped in when it will do the most good. And this is it. This is it. Now, now, now. But God sees him. But God sees him to reward you. But God sees him. But God sees him to reward you. But God sees him to answer your prayer. But God sees him to make things right. But God sees him to make things most good for him that love the world of us, that love the Lord, good things. Hey! God is about to answer that prayer. So calm down. Claim it. Type amen and decree. So shall it be in Jesus' name. I must hatred and evil plotting turn against him when the king discover his true intention. 
he was hanged on the gallows he had built for someone else. You, uh, our enemies will be hung on the gallows they built for us in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 26, 27 teaches us that a person who digs a pit for others, I said it before, <laughs> hallelujah, <laughs> Woo! a person who digs a pit for others will fall into it himself. Because now you now you dig the pit, now you set the trap, now you fall into it. In Jesus' name. So I'm not concerned with it. <laughs> it doesn't bother me whether you dig it or not, you set the trap. Now you go fall into it because now you dig out. Hallelujah, somebody. Who has time for to be checking your, your plot or whatever? Now you dig out. So go read enemies, 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 enemies of joy, enemies of divine of enemies, your enemies, enemies. Tell them, say, Reverend Dr. Joy declare, said, enemies, go and read the Bible. Proverbs 26, 27, he teaches us a person who digs a pit for others will fall into it. So if you're setting a trap for anybody, now you go fall into it. So better go cl close the pit, remove the trap, move on with your life and pray to God to forgive your, your sin of wickedness, hatred. What happened to Hammer shows the often violent result of setting any kind of traps for others. Anytime you set trap for others, God will turn it around, especially when you are setting, setting traps for innocent souls, good-hearted people, God-fearing people, people that don't love God for everything. Be careful. Be, I, I don't know who I'm talking to. You, those people, those folks, you, those Negroes and Negroes that just hate people for nothing, jealous and don't do it after today, don't do it, I'm talking to you, or don't stop, just go to God in prayer, confess your sin, release whoever you hate for nothing, because the person not even get time for you, once you just say, I'm, you'll be shaking the person, just living a good life, you know, going, <laughs> listen, all these people we call your enemy, then they live well, low. Oh. Now you they kill yourself, you get caca worms, you get high blood pressure, you get heart attack, you so me, you so mad, everything, Come on, come on, come on. Get your act together. Get yourself together. Because what happened to Hamas shows the often violent result of setting any kind of trap to others. Whatever you set will follow you. They cover Hamas face. A veil was placed over face, over the face of someone condemned to death. And that's how Hamas died. Because Pasha's king refused to look upon the face of a condemned person. My brothers and sisters, after all our Bible study, we always uh, we always uh, go and pray, uh, have uh, um, three powerful prayer. But today we might get more because this 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 Bible study today was powerful. Woo! I need to respect others. Our first prayer: God, let us not be selfish or want too much when you are all we need it. Masukele bo saladia makrade makrali kila kata. I said, God, in the name of Jesus, let us not be selfish or want too much when you are all we need. In the name of Jesus, when you are all we need. In the mighty name of Jesus, when you are all we need. Maliki la basindi la tata makila bashiki la basi Maria malizara da la da malatia. Father, in the name of Jesus. Please do not let us be selfish. Please do not let us be selfish or want too much. Want too much when you are all we needed in the name of Jesus. The second prayer. God, let us be patient to wait on you, on your time. God, help us to be have patient to wait on you and your time because your time is always the best. Maliki la paziria la paris kirada. Makurena kila basindia balatia. Father, in the name of Jesus, God Almighty, let us be patient to wait on you and your time because. Your time is always the best. I pray for all the ministers of Christ, members and non-members, all our real community, everyone that come across. Father, in the name of Jesus, let us not be selfish or want too much when you are all we needed. In the name of Jesus, I pray for all the ministers of Christ, nation, John, my members and non-members, and all our all our real communities, all our social media communities, all the everyone that come across our 
preach, you know, God, and I pray for all of them. God, let us be patient to wait for you and wait for your time because your time is always the best. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, cover us and everyone online here and with the blood of Jesus. Father, cover us with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, another prayer I'm going to put the, is a prayer that I come across when I was teaching. I prayed it, but now I'm going to pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the one that set a trap for me and dig a pit for me fall into their pit and fall into their trap and fall into their gallows. In the name of Jesus, every harm of our life, every enemy that have set a trap and dig a pit, or set a, let them fall into their life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Malikelebosaladie. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us that when the enemy was thinking of uh, us being a victim, turn our enemy to victim and turn us to victors in the name of Jesus. Turn our enemy to victim and turn us to victors. I say, God, in the name of Jesus, Turn our enemies to victims and turn us to victims in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, I pray, I pray that God Almighty, everything we are going through, whatever we are going, everyone online that we see now, that are online right now, that we watch later, that our our preaching will come across this teaching especially. We come across, Father, in the name of whatever we are going through, whatever problem, struggle, whatever, I don't care. The name of whatever we're going through. Father, I declare and I decree in the name of Jesus right here that I was sitting up but God, sitting but God, but God, but God. When you will come to reward us, everything that we have been unrewarded. Everywhere we have been unrewarded because of wickedness, of hatred, of like hammer in our life. Father, in the name of Jesus, but God, but God, sitting of reward. But God is a decline, decline. But God is of God. But God is of reward in our life in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Claim it. Claim it. Type amen. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Claim it. Claim it. Claim it. That your time is our reward. Everything that you've been all rewarded will be reward, your time of reward, your time of reward, 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 reward. It's our time of reward in the name of Jesus. God, we keep whoever that's holding our stuff, they say, anybody who holds small picking thing, they come up. Small time you go tired, go down. Whoever that has hold our stuff up, now, but God sees in, I've come for reward time in the name of Jesus. The person will take his hand down in Jesus' name. The person will take his hand down and bring us up. Reward time, reward time, reward time. God reward. Reward us. This is the season of our reward. Reward us. Reward us. I need a testimony for this prayer. I need a testimony for this prayer. I need a miracle. I need a miracle for this prayer. That people will test me. People will send me and say, Reverend Dr. Joy, you are a child. Oh, you have said it on social be God have answered your prayer. God, I need a miracle. I need a testimony. I need a miracle. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I need a miracle. I need a testimony. I need a miracle for this prayer, Father. In the name of Jesus, I need a miracle. I need a testimony that any part of our life that we've not been rewarded for doing the right thing unto you, for doing the right thing unto human beings, for doing the right thing unto people, to me, and they've not been rewarded because of the wickedness of the hatred of people, because of jealousy and envy, because of jealousy and envy, because of hatred, because of racism, because of all wickedness. Father, but God sees it in our life. Send your reward like you said in the time of Esther. In the name of Jesus, I use Esther time as a time of... I use Esther time as a point of contact 
Father, send our time of reward right now, right now. Our time of reward in Jesus' name. Lebo, Saladia, Maladia, Father, our time of reward is right here. I declare, declare, declare. I declare that decree. Our time of reward now, now. Time of reward now in the name of Jesus. But God sees it now, 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 forever and ever and ever and ever. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Woo, the word of God is powerful. And there will be a miracle. There will be a testimony for this prayer today. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for turning this Bible study to a Bible study, to a prayer study, to a prayer session. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel like praying. The spirit of prayer is upon me. Woo, the spirit of song is upon me. The spirit of preaching is upon me. Oh, hallelujah. I can move forward. He hold me down here. He said, keep on praying. What am I praying for? I'm praying for the whole world. I'm praying for myself. I'm praying for my children. I pray for my marriage. I pray for my ministry. I pray for my church. I'm praying for everyone online. I'm praying for everything, everyone, everybody's going through. I'm praying for the world. I'm praying that anywhere we have gone to do good things and somebody keep on hiding it and putting it on the table. I'm putting on the, I'm tarnishing our image and lying against us. Lying against us. I'm flipping good things we do. I'm making it like they're all that of bagotti father but god sees it come into our life now but god sees it now now but god sees it come now and reward us in the name of jesus reward of jesus reward us reward us right now reward us appoint them appoint us to a place that will reward us and give us that miracle miracle breakthrough 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 in the name of jesus double for our trouble double for our trouble mercy kill double hear my prayer oh lord in the name of jesus Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. If you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, my brothers and sisters, this is the time to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And if you do, pray this prayer, short prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of Calvary for my sin, creating me a pure heart and release the fast spirit within me. Oh, please forgive me and come into my life. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Now help me. Now help me, O oh God, to live for you the rest of this life in Jesus' name. My brothers and sisters, if you have not, if you don't have a Bible foundation, church where they preach the authentic word of God, like we do in the Vancias of Christ. Please find one. And if you have not, don't go too far. Come to the Vancias of Christ. We serve you online. Everything we do is online, fam. So you can come. You just have to help us do one thing. One thing that God created you for. One thing that you are alive today. <laughs> so just press and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ by sending, share. You know how you share all this stuff? Share our preaching. Share our preaching on the rail, on the Facebook, on social or social media. Just share WhatsApp, Instagram, all this. We're all over in YouTube. Just share the word of God and help us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. And after you do that, you say, Joy, oh, you don't know. I need a special prayer. We all do. You know, I'm a praying woman. We've been praying even throughout the person. But we're going to pray for you. Pray for all of us. Father, in the name of Jesus, whoever that is out there now going through so much, he doesn't know who to talk to. Father, channel this preaching. Channel this Bible study. Channel this prayer at this particular place to them, Father. And encourage them with the word of God. Encourage them with the word of God. Encourage them that their time, this Season of their time, a but God's season of reward is here. I put claim, I declare, and I decree, but God's season of reward in your life. In the name of Jesus, I proclaim. I declare, I declare, both God sees in my brothers and sisters, both God sees in my brother, both God sees in my brethren, God, beloved, I declare, I declare, both God sees in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I cover these prayers, see them with the blood of Jesus and the wall of fire in Jesus' name. May God bless you. The Lord bless you and your family in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you and your and keep you and your family in Jesus' name. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and your family, upon your family in the name of Jesus. And be gracious to you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and your family and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and turn his face towards you and your family in Jesus' name. May the Lord give you peace and answer shalom. 
there's a shalom in your life and your family in Jesus. Now, now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us, to him be glorified in the vastness of Christ. Oh, nation church by Christ Jesus to all members of the vastness of Christ forever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, this end of our Bible study for today. I'm so glad that our Bible study went well. We are so grateful. And we we'll always end our Bible study with so, with the we we'll always end our Bible study with the song and the Bible study song that we used uh, where we started. So we we'll always end it with that. But before then, I will say I love you. For God loves you more. Virtual org, virtual org. My name again is Reverend Dr. Joy. I'm going to watch you. Autumn James, the general of Asia, the leader of the vast soldiers of Christ, the flower of God, the celebrate of Jesus Christ, the servant of God, this, the, the, the vessel of grace of God, the mouthpiece of God, the cloth of God, the hand of God. That's my name. And I just come here to serve God and serve his people. Now, let us finish with our song. Amen. God bless you all. I love you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Mission and strength and the kingdom of our God. Hallelujah. The Satan, so powerful. What you give them? Of our brethren, which is Satan. Who are you, Hallelujah. And that ends up our purpose study today. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And the ones that didn't join us, thank you too. The ones that make it today, thank you. The ones that didn't make it today. And especially the ones that you will see it when we cut it into real. Well, we send it to his Facebook uh, story, Facebook reel, Facebook feed, WhatsApp status, Instagram status, Instagram reel, Instagram story, YouTube. We are all over. I just want to pause here to say thank you to all of you that goes there, take your time, and pause to listen to our word of God. Through the vassalers of Christ, the word of God that comes through this servant of God, the humble servant of God, and through the mountain Zion of the vassalers of Christ, we are very grateful. We don't take it for granted. Thank you. Thank you. We love you so much, and God loves you more. Thank you so much. Thank you. We are very grateful. And thank you. We love you. Bye now. Bye now. As the music will end up here. Amen, amen, for Jesus. Oza, Abaye, Mamba. Ibasi, Aye, Jezu, Ike. Amen, amen, Master Jesus. Oza, Abaye, Mamba. Open, Simen, Beke, Mo. Eku, Kudu, Eno, Nisi. Amen, Eno, Nanda. Actually, He says, sit and listen to my children. Wherever they are walking, my cross is on their face. Where they are going. Don't touch them. Don't touch them. That's the interpretation. Say, say, say that. See all my children. You are just talking all rubbish. Whatever you are talking about my children, when I, because we have God, you will never touch us. You will never fall in the name of Jesus. Say, God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.